According to NASA, the Sun has been particularly active recently, which could provide issues for us here on Earth. Although the solar cycle is still in its early stages, the space agency reported that activity has already exceeded expectations. The sun goes through an 11-year cycle in which it alternates between comparatively calm and stormy conditions. The sun is covered with sunspots and its magnetic poles invert when it is at its most energetic, or solar maximum. On Earth, this type of solar activity has consequences. It might interfere with GPS systems, lead to blackouts and power grid concerns, and interfere with radio communications. Strong solar flares, which are essentially very intense radiation bursts, might also endanger the health of astronauts, cause problems for spacecraft, and possibly raise questions about the safety of both flight crews and passengers on airlines. Satellites actually picked up an explosion on the Sun which resulted in an eruption of C9.3-class solar flare on July 31, 2022. This classification was likely underestimated since the edge of the Sun partially blocked the explosion. Earth is not in the way but the explosion is crucial because it might signal the emergence of an active region in the coming months over the northeastern limb of the Sun. Fortunately there's no reason to worry about a doomsday scenario, even if we do experience more solar flares and the complications they cause in the years leading up to 2025. According to NASA, it is not conceivable for a massive killing solar flare to emit enough energy to completely destroy Earth and burn its inhabitants. Additionally, solar cycles are repeated every 11 years, so everybody over the age of 11 has previously experienced a solar maximum. And they likely didn't even know it was happening, 